Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be cleaning out the Q Computer Mid Tower Deluxe. It's been quite a while since it's been cleaned out. I usually clean my computers out during the spring and during the fall. The last time this computer was cleaned out was actually back in March when I upgraded the motherboard, CPU, and graphics card. So it's been quite a while. So it's definitely in need of a good clean out. So let's go ahead and have a look inside this thing. Let's have a look at all of the dust in the fan. This is the intake fan. I used to keep a better schedule keeping this thing clean, but this computer is extremely heavy. It weighs about 50 pounds, and it's not the easiest thing to lug out here to the garage to clean out. Not to mention it's hard to get to in the spot it's in my room. And I'm about to upgrade the hard drives in this thing. I got two terabyte, well, I got two one terabyte hard drives and a two terabyte single drive to upgrade my setup. Currently, this computer has two 500 gig hard drives and a one terabyte drive. The two 500 during a RAID stripe and the one terabyte is a backup. So, more or less, I'm going to, be, going to be doubling my space to two terabytes from one terabyte. Of course, shooting all these videos for you guys on YouTube, that has made a big contribution to space getting taken up on this thing. Not to mention, I'm all, I also record TV shows and everything else. So anyways, let's go ahead and continue looking at this thing. This is um, water-cooled, by the way, as you can obviously tell. And it seems like the best time to get a good look at my computer is when I'm actually getting it cleaned out. It's out outside the house. It's out here in the garage and you can actually see what's on it very well. Now back in the sp spring I made a video about um, this the system before I upgraded it so you can go back and watch that and get a general idea of how things have changed. The radiator and other water cooling components have not changed with the exception of the water block. It's got a heat killer 3.0 um, water block now which is um, has a copper base has copper fans inside of it works very well and after a summer of constant on use air is not able to easily pass this radiator so the temperatures have come up a little bit it still doesn't get very hot but the temperatures do run about five to six degrees C hotter than they used to so this computer definitely needs to have its um, radiator and everything else cleaned out so let's go and have a look at the back you can see there's dust accumulating on this side panel on the window. Let's have a look at this fan. And this fan runs, it's a three speed fan, I usually have it on um, medium speed. The motherboard um, connections look pretty clean though, they're not too awful bad. And this motherboard being a high-end motherboard has a bunch of connections. This is a ASRock 890FX Deluxe 4. It's loaded with USB 2.0 and 3.0 connections along with eSATA, FireWire, digital audio out, um, optical, I think it has no, this one don't have optical. It has uh, multi-channel audio, not sure how many channels, can't remember off the bat. It has a clear CMOS button right there. So you don't have to tear the whole computer open just to reset the CMOS if you're Overclock fails. Anyways, here's a look at the power supply. It's starting to get a little bit of dust in it too. This power supply runs very quiet. The fan barely spins. It doesn't spin very fast at all. This power supply runs very cool. It is a um, Case Gears Eco Element 650 watt power supply. And normally Case Gear units are absolute junk, but this here is actually one of their better units. It has active PFC. All that kind of stuff. It's done a good job. Let's look down a little ways. You can see my graphics card. I actually had to replace the fan on this card after only three months of use. Way to go, F XFX. I've heard, um, and which by the way, the fan was a cooler master. And I still have a modem on here because I do send faxes once in a while. And the Black Max still has a modem too because it receives caller ID and that kind of stuff. And below that is two USB 3 ports. The motherboard comes with a little sliding thing for extra USB ports for the super speed. And below that is a gigabit LAN controller. 
This computer has two gigabit LAN ports. I do a network bridge, so when I'm fixing people's computers, I have a crossover cable that actually plugs in here. And below that is my TV tuner. This is your basic digital tuner, which soon I'll probably even need that because um, I'm going to be doing an upgrade to the TV computer that doesn't that way um, I can actually share the tuners on the TV computer with other computers in the house. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the back here. Have a look at all the dust in that radiator. That's what constant on use does. Now let's go ahead and clean it out. Alrighty, now since I gave you a little overview of my computer, it's time to go ahead and clean it out. Let some dust fly. And luckily for you, you're on the other side of the camera. You're just watching the video. You're not having to breathe all the dust that comes out of this thing. So you are very lucky. I'm going to get the side panel off. And we're going to see some dust fly. Because <clears throat> you know me, um, I don't like to work with filthy computers. And of course this thing needs to be cleaned out anyway. side panel to the side. Actually I think I'd be uh, I'll go ahead and move it. <clears throat> I don't want to leave like that because I don't want to break my plexiglass. That stuff's very fragile. Because this is a custom side panel. <laughs> Let's let some dust fly. That was the inside of the computer. Now let's go and do the radiator. This will be fun. Look at that dust. Woo! <laughs> dusting here right now. <laughs>
All right, she's cleaned up, now let's walk outside and see if I can see dust come out from this garage. This will be interesting. Just look. <laughs> this is looking from outside the garage, from the back side. Not as bad as I was expecting it to be. I'm sure when I was cleaning this thing out, um, it probably looked like smoke coming up from under the overhang. Now let's go ahead and clean out that side panel. Okay, now that the dust is cleared out in here, let's go ahead and have a look at this thing. Let's look at the difference. I mean, there's still surface dust, but you look in these um, fans on the radiator, and of course the radiator fans itself, things actually look a whole lot better now. I mean... Huge, huge difference. This thing live would run a whole lot cooler now. Especially on their load. Looks like a whole different computer now. No more high amounts of dust in the fans or the radiator. And you look inside the computer, things look a lot cleaner. Folks, that is a summer's worth of constant on operation dust. This computer never cuts off unless the power's out. So you're talking about a whole, whole lot of hours of fan spinning and everything else. I mean, it's, it is, it's mind-boggling to think about if you, <laughs> if you really actually think about it. All of the hours this thing runs. All that dust accumulates inside this thing. Things look a whole lot better now. Now I'll go ahead and throw the side panel back on and take it back inside because it's getting pretty cold out here. And I'll go ahead and get my hard drives installed. So anyways, um, that was me cleaning out the mid-tower deluxe. And it's funny, even my, even my own computers put on quite a show because they get used all the time. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.